I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this G'day guys and welcome back to the channel Today we're gonna to be talking about Sam Sulik um, Big wave on the internet Really awesome guy Just like you can tell he's kind hearted He's super nice From what I've been able to see through the videos But I wanted to talk today about some of the pros and cons on looking up to him as a fitness influencer and uh and yeah how it can potentially be affecting you and your fitness goals i don't ever slow up no i don't take shit. i got no love for the fakeness if you want to play tough and want to hate this i'll always show up and make a statement i don't ever slow up now he seems like such a genuine person i can see in the comments in the reels and the tiktoks everyone thinks he's a genuine he just seems so kind-hearted and nice and I really admire his work ethic. I admire that he trains till failure, he trains really hard. Um, but let's identify the elephant in the room. You know, from my personal experience, he seems like someone that doesn't look natural. Um, and that's the topic of PEDs, performance enhancing drugs. Um, now, I know when I was growing up and I first started going to the gym, I used to look up to people that had a big question mark above their head regarding PDs and I always felt like shit, you know, I felt weak, I felt uh, smaller, I felt like I wasn't progressing, I felt like I wasn't good enough because of that. I used to see these guys making massive changes um, in a short period of time where with me I would do the exact same thing that they were doing and not even see a fraction of the results. So. You know, that made me feel like shit, you know, it made me feel insecure. It made me feel like, well, my self-esteem was significantly um, impacted by it. He's an amazing guy and he trains hard I encourage you to look up to him for those things for his hard work his determination his effort he's in the gym he's grinding he's nice so you know you don't want to be twats to people but when you look at his physique I don't want you to devalue your own I don't want you to you know feel like you're inadequate because you don't look like that uh, there is plenty of goals that you can achieve within the gym naturally You can get pretty far naturally. You won't ever look like that unfortunately, but I think that uh, You know, there is still a lot of benefits you can get out of exercising and I don't want that to discourage you in pursuing your fitness goals topic training to failure is a must so I love how he gets to failure but then he he doesn't stop after that last complete rep he does partials eccentric phase reps obviously with certain exercises you want to be mindful of your safety bench presses squats you don't want to be doing that you want to stop at that last rep but when you're doing machine presses even dumbbell presses you want to make sure that you're doing those partials or those eccentric reps where you're helping yourself up with one arm, for example, on the preacher curl and you're lowering it back down. You still have more in the tank to give for that set and you want to take advantage of it rather than, as he says, you know, stopping on the pec fly when your hands don't touch together. You know, you can definitely do 70% range, 50% range and doing some even... Uh, uh, some tension in the stretched position has been shown to improve and increase muscle hypertrophy. So incorporating that into your training.
another thing I like about Sam is his fashion. He doesn't really care about, uh, you know, what people are wearing. Um, so yeah, I encourage that, you know, you don't need to spend $300 on a gym outfit, um, you know, just because everyone else is doing it. Wear comfortable clothes, wear old clothes, even if you have new ones. Uh, the gym is to get a sweat on, it's not a fashion parade. So, you know, I appreciate that he's starting a movement of, you know, wearing whatever you feel comfortable in. I started training with a, a shirt and a flannel and I was like, oh wow, I should have started doing this uh, a lot earlier. So yeah, encourage that. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have anything against PED use. You know, you can do whatever the hell you want to do. But all I'm saying is that it's slightly different when you're natural. I've been lifting for over 11 years. Um, and yeah, it's slightly different. Some of the things that you have to take into account when you're natural is a lot different to when you, you're on PEDs. Um, you need to take into account your recovery. You can't be training to failure every single day and get away with it. And you're not gonna be able to recover as much. So these little things, the diet that you eat, you can't get away with just eating whatever you want. Um, you have to be a little bit more mindful um, in terms of putting on size. You have to make sure you're sticking to your proteins, uh, you're sticking to your carbs. But that brings me to the end of today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about it, you can pop it in the comment section below. If you have any questions about training, exercise, rehab, I'm a doctor and physio, so I might be able to answer some of them for you. Um, otherwise, if you like today's video, click the like button and make sure to subscribe. Um, and yeah, looking forward to seeing you in the next one. I'll pop a link to my website and my email in the description below also. So if you need to get in contact with me, please do.